Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Aditya Gupta. Uh, I did my undergraduation from AIMS Delhi and I'm currently pursuing my DM in Pediatric Oncology. So the new TUG exam date is finally out. I had earlier not made a video on this because it was not an official confirmation. So finally the official confirmation has come from NTA and we know that 17th July, uh, the rumored date is the actual date. It's the actual D day. Now, uh, so everyone knew the exam is going to be in three to four months. So why that there was so much excitement about the neat uh, uh, UG date? So there are two reasons for that. See, first it reduces anxiety. Obviously, if if it's an exam which is going to be conducted, okay, three months will be, four months will be, five months will be. You don't know. It obviously increases your anxiety. When is the exam? And now you actually know a date, seventeen July. That is the day. That is the day that's going to matter. At at least as far as this year is concerned, this is going to decide whether you become a doctor or whether you not become a doctor. Whether you clear need at this point of time or whether you not clear need or take another year for your preparation. Uh, so seventeen July is a day day. And most importantly, getting an exact date gives you an opportunity to strategize. कि अब आगे करना क्या है, कैसे strategy बनानी है. So today is 7th April. So there are exactly 100 days, 100, 101 days for a exam. So you have to plan out, chalk out a revision plan कि exactly अब क्या क्या करना है. So for those कि मेरे अभी 90 से ऐसी there are 90 to 100 chapters let's say you have already done 70 to 80 percent of the revision in such a scenario you have to plan out a revision strategy कि okay मेरे को दो महीने में इतना syllabus करना है या मेरे को एक महीने में इतना syllabus करना है या मेरे को डेढ़ महीने में इतना करना है या मेरे को ऐसे करना है मेरे को boards के साथ कैसे revise करना है and things like that getting an exam date helps you strategize what topics to do first, what to do last, and how to go about revising your entire syllabus. If you want a revision strategy, I'd already made a video back in uh, February uh, or uh, March when I thought the exam probably would be there in June. So right now, my uh, advice to any neat aspirant having given this exam is sit down, relax. Finally, the date is out. Plan, strategize, but do it just today. Har rose planning and strategy mein time mat waste karna. Take, uh, put out a plan, strategize, and stick to that plan and give it your best shot. These three months can be make or break. Kisi ne pure ek date saal padhai ki aur abhi teen mahi ne padhai karke revise na kare. It's possible that you won't get selected. Someone who has not done anything in the past one, one and a half year. Obviously, teen mahi ne mein selection is tough. It's very tough. But if you give your best shot, who knows? That person might get selected and just say, Akri teen mahi ne mein padhai nahi ki. He won't. Anything is possible. Uh, so, and last but definitely not the least, give it your best shot. In teen mahi ne mein to lag chau. Ji, jaan laga do. Whatever is left inside you, give it for this exam. Aim higher, shoot for the stars, you may land on the moon. So let's assume you were initially targeting 600 mein mera selection ho jai. No, target 650 plus. You were initially targeting ki nahi, main Delhi college mein jana jata No, target Aims Delhi. You were targeting Aims Delhi. No, target a top 5 or a top 10 rank. Ek dam aage ka target karo, jitna tumhaya mein possible hai, tumhaya, tumhaya, which you feel is possible according to your capabilities, according to your preparation. Usko ek step higher kar do. What will happen? Nahi hoga. You may not... You will shoot for the stars. You may not reach the stars, but you definitely land on the moon. So definitely once and last, definitely all the best. Use this time, use the day today to strategize. And then the next day, you will be able to study. All right. Thank you and have a nice day.